ang ikaapat na hapis ni San Jose ay ang propesya ni Simeon na ang sanggol na ito ay magiging tanda ng pagmamahal subalit tanda ng kabalintunaan. He will be a sign of heavenly love but he will be contradicted and the heart of the mother will be pierced by a sword. Ilang taon nating patatakbuhin at dalhin natin ang ating sarili sa paana ng Kalbaryo at pakinggan natin yung isa sa huling wika ng ating Panginoon. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. They do not know what they're doing. Hindi nila alam ang kanilang ginagawa. Naniniwala kayo? Hindi ako naniniwala. Alam nila yung kanilang ginagawa. Alam nila na yung pagpapako ay makakamatay. Alam nila na yung pagsibat ay makakamatay. Alam nila yung paghagupit at magdudulot ng maraming sugat ay maaring makamatay. Alam nila na nauuhaw at ang nauuhaw ay pinaiinom. Alam nila lahat yon. Hindi naman dahil tutulog-tulog sila o kaya talagang wala silang malay doon sa kanilang ginagawa. No, I don't think so. I think what the Lord meant when He said, They know not what they do is they do not know how much I love them. Hindi nila alam kung gaano ko sila kamahal. Kung alam lang nila kung gaano ko sila kamahal, hindi nila gagawin ito. Bakit? Sapagkat katulad ng itinuturo sa atin ng simbahan, what is sin? Sin is a betrayal of love. At kung hindi mo naranasan ng pagmamahal, at kung hindi mo alam na minamahal ka, sa makatuwid, ay hindi ka magkakasala sapagkat hindi mo pa naranasan kung papaano ka mahalin. Sa Kalbaryo, ang sinasabi ng Panginoon, kaya siya naging sign of contradiction ay sapagkat ako itanda ng pagmamahal, subalit ayaw nila akong tanggapin sapagkat ayaw nilang mahalin ko sila. They don't know how much I love them. If they will only know how much I love them, they will not do this, Heavenly Father. If they only know that this sacrifice is for them, they will not do this to me, loving Father. Yon ang pinagsisimulan na ang sanggol na ito ay magiging tanda ng pagmamahal, subalit tatanggihan, tatanggihan ng kanyang pagmamahal at dahil tatanggihan ng kanyang pagmamahal, yung kanyang mga mismo minamahal ang papatay sa kanya. That is the big contradiction. And uh, did Joseph understand that? Did Joseph know that? Probably not. But he also knew what it is to love and not be loved in return. And to love and to be refused instead of being accepted. Sa pagkakataong ito, sana ay namnamin natin yung katotohanan mahal ako ng Diyos. At dahil mahal ako ng Diyos, ang lahat ay gagawin ko para ipakita ko na nagpapasalamat ako, may utang na loob ako sa pagmamahal na tinanggap ko. Ulitin ko po, what is sin? Sin is a betrayal of love. You know you have been loved and you betray it. You know you have been loved and you abandon it. You know you have been loved and you ignore it and take things for granted. Sana, huwag natin ipagbawal ng mahala na mahal tayo ng Diyos. Father, we know your love for us and you have shown that love through Jesus, your Son. St. Joseph saw that love. May we see the same love. May we love the same way. Amen. 
Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please look for Father Sok on YouTube and I hope you can subscribe to the channel. There I can meet you with more reflections, with more homilies, and then we can interact. And you can also tell me the questions in your heart, the questions in your mind, which I hope I can also answer in the same channel. It is not technology that brings us together. It is the Lord. It is not technology that has brought us together. It is our love for the Lord and our love for the church. May the Spirit continue to work in all of us. God bless you.